Time's up. Let's do this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Legends Three Season Five, and this is um Season Five August uh, letter, of course, and these are all Legends player back in August, and this is the Southeast Asian Legends Invitational Best of Five Single Elimination. Your host today, that's me, Babel, joining me, Katips. We're bringing you a very hyped up match between Stairs and the Juice Guy, and in the background, we also have ADYB versus Lala Song happening, and amongst which we also got some really exciting matches with all of the other participants, but we don't really have much time to go into every single one of them, so uh, apologies for that, but no matter what, we're trying to give you extra coverage whenever possible. So that said, we're gonna have um, Stairs versus Azure Sky right now. Katips, how do you feel about this matchup? Oh, like you said, it's a very hyped match. Azure Sky, of course, taking out one of the Philippine Slot players, Chalk, and he is aiming to do a second round of Philippine Slaughter, trying to take out Stairs, of course, one of the winningest um, Philippine players, one of the top players in our in, in the local community. And yeah, th this bottom bracket we were talking about earlier is pretty stacked. Um, Zadkill is a potentially a killer also in bracket F and N, if you guys can see the, the bracket in chat. And yeah, it's been a pretty interesting tournament. Lots of new names, lots of old names, so very interesting mix right now. And like you said, it's gonna be Azure Sky going up against Staz. So let me just run through Staz's decks. He is running Hunter, War Mage, Warrior, and Warlock. And Azure Sky, as we saw, is running Miracle Rogue, uh, possibly Hunter. We saw uh, Warrior, also Control Warrior, and we saw his Zoo. So all of these are options for Azure Sky. Very, very solid set of decks, I think. So we are just waiting for the players to go in now. Right, so once again, Azure Sky. Um... Man, up against, up against Stairs. Azure Sky is a Singapore player, isn't it? Yeah, and he is not one of those players that I'm very familiar with, but rather he's he's a, he's a good player, for sure. It's just that I'm not close to him, and hopefully, hopefully, no matter what, he's still Singaporean, and I support him. Oh my god, Stairs actually has 16,000 gold in the bank. Oh <laughs> my, wow. No, no, no poverty games here. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. He is ready for the expansion. We are all ready for Among all of us, Staz is ready for the expansion, I think. That's gonna be a lot of packs. And of right. course, Azure Sky, not having, you know, not not with, without his change, also he has 5,600 gold. Sorry to put the player's bank accounts into the hot seat, but wow, that's a lot of money. Right, so a very interesting twist to this Legends tournament is um, we actually have players submitting four classes and in every single round players will be allowed to ban one class off your opponent's list here and this is something that we've been waiting for a long time of course we're banning classes we're not banning decks and this has got some impact into this tournament simply because uh, as you all know everyone has only got nine slots in the deck construction space there so banning one class and having to prepare for one extra class we actually need to make sure that um, their decks are no longer three decks per class, but rather down to just two variations and one lucky class with three. So this is like a lot of a difference as compared to just three classes here. And some strategizing in play, by the way the ban is, work is working like this, they are actually going to count three, two, one, and they're going to type it at the same time. It's all friendly integrity based stuff. Um, future tournament, we might just change that. Um, just to make sure that the player with the highest seeding gets the ban first, but no matter what it is, for this tournament we're just gonna try out this integrity system and see how far we go, but so far it's okay. So it seems like Stairs will ban the Hunter and Azure Sky will ban the Mage, which leaves us with a few other classes which I'm gonna go through with you guys just in case you guys are not in the uh, brackets page yet. So Stairs brought with him the Hunter, Mage, Warlock, wo uh, Warrior. And he's not allowed to use the mage for this matchup, so he's left with the Hunter, Warrior, and Warlock for Azure Sky. On the flip side, he's being banned off the Hunter, which means that it's going to be Warrior, Warlock, and Rogue. So the only difference between both players is Stairs with the Hunter and Azure Sky with the Rogue. And that's it, we're going into the first game here. And boy oh boy, Stairs, the pride of Filipino players so far. Really excited to have his game here against Azure Sky. Definitely, definitely. So Azure Sky is going to run with his Warlock first. It is going to be his Zoo. Nice opening draw, Undertaker into Flame Amp straight away. And Staz is going to be running Warlock as well. Did he run Zoo as well or is he running Handlock? 
for this match. Looks like handlock. Double Ancient Watcher, Twilight Ooh. Drake. It does look like it is a handlock. So, I think historically, handlock is favored against uh, Zoo, especially if they manage to get like a Shadow Flame or a Hellfire. But what do you think? Do you think that Zoo is able to overcome handlock in the early game? Playing around, of course, the Molten Giants? Well, it is going to be hard for handlock to get that synergy going but once he gets it going i think zoo is actually straight out not gonna win a game um Check it really depends sorry sorry go ahead, go ahead. Uh, i'm just saying that it's gonna be up to the draw and the order of the cards that come for juice guy here and he actually has undertaker and the leopard gnome which is pretty good yeah, I was just about to say, check out this hand from Major Sky. He has enough cards to keep the, I mean, to start the tempo off, and also can clear his hand. Oh, look at that! He has enough to clear his hand by the time turn five rolls around and Doom Guard can go into play. Really nice, really nice. So the crucial part here for for Handlock, I think, is to manage to put down some sort of defense early on, stop the stop the rush try to draw into your shadow flame and maybe your hellfire and get a value board clear and then go into your giants or into your twilight drakes and just make sure that um zoo is not able to recover but at the moment pretty strong opening plays by azure sky nice nice um startup undertaker could grow to be i mean he can afford to be a little bit bigger but here comes staz now it's gonna play He's not going to wait for turn 4. He needs to heal up, stop the bleeding. Ooh, by the 3-1 Lepidum is going to kill it quickly. Okay. So, I think he can go... Oh, he's going to tap. Okay. I think against the Handlock, you really want to play around Soulfire or Hellfire, which is why he tapped there. He is not comfortable right. with more than three minions on the field so early on. But what he doesn't know is that there is no such card there for Staz yet. And I think that Azuska is not stress testing Staz enough for those Hellfire. And there's no way you're gonna Hellfire for two minutes. So this is where the Flame Meme comes out. Three health to stress test the Hellfire to see if it's in the hand for Staz. That's right. Yep, so Hellfire of course gonna is the bane of um of Zoo. Not having very many minions above three health, except for, with, with some exceptions like the Nerubian and the Doom Guard, of course. A second Undertaker goes down. Um, hmm. How about? So he knows that um, Staz is doesn't either doesn't have or doesn't want to play Hellfire. Four seven is of course quite big. Right. Um, um. How do you feel about Azure Sky playing? Um, as many minions as he can right now, and then setting up the Doom Guard. Not, I mean, discarding um, a lot of min a lot of cards. Or do you think he should still be prudent and maybe just defense, um, bring up the health of some of these minions? I think here, um, playing the different Argus is really not going to help him much because that might kill the four or seven, but it's going to be quite a heavy cost for him playing the the abusive sergeant is going to be enough and a lucky dagger goes for the twilight drake as you sky is going to be able to trade the flame in with the four six there and also keeps the board alive that's actually very good that is the one situation or rather one scenario which he is able to use one card to trade off the twilight drake without much trouble so he's also going to play a second undertaker and this is where i think he actually overextends he's also not going to attack with the last two because this is a handlock it's not like he forgot this is a handlock and he knows that yeah. seeing the twilight drake that's why he's not comfortable putting the handlock all the way down to 12. yeah because that's a molten giant into um into a sun fury protector and that could just ruin his day pretty much Exactly. Here, I think it's really good that he keeps him at 14 health with next turn th threatening lethal here. Um, that's going to be 5 damage off the Doom Guard and a total of 10 plus uh, 6. I think it's enough. It really is. So, Stas is probably just going to lose here. The first game already <laughs> looking like he's going down. There's some outs for him and that includes playing the Ancient Watcher with the Sunfree Protector. And that's going to buy him some time. That's right. So... Zoo! Okay, here comes um Wow oh. Soulfire. That's unfortunate. Oh gosh. He can still win this. 
he can still win this. All he needs is just Soulfire to 4-5 and for it to discard Defender Argus. But if he discards the Doomguard, he's in a little bit of a bad spot. Can he not um, Doomguard to take out the 4-5? And then... Nah, nah. Nah, this is just like a Royal Flush all over again. Doomguard, Soulfire. What are the chances? <laughs> oh, gosh. Such a... Uh, so many cards left in the deck, and then you, you draw Soul of Fire with Doom Guard in hand. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, he's actually going to make a very unfavorable trade here. He's also going to play Doom Guard. Here we go. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, 11, and 12, 13, a dagger. 14. The dagger went to face. Whoa! That's uh, wow. Wow. All right. And also, actually, the dagger didn't really matter, but the Doom Guard right. with the buff from the Dire Wolf Alpha did cause him the game there. So, pretty nice to see. It's just kind of already winning the first game very quickly as well. With those math, good math. Didn't miss good lethal. Math. Good stuff there. <laughs> Did not miss lethal.net, and we are going into the next game. So, do you think Azure Sky should keep Zoo? I think he should keep it. I think he should play Zoo for sure. Um, yeah. There is nothing else that would work well against the the Hunter. I don't think that the I really think Headlock is not good against Hunter, but that's me. Yes, and on the other hand, you have uh, you have Warrior as the last option for Stas. And Warrior, Zoo can actually really just force Warrior uh, into a very bad yeah. spot. And it, he has only one out, that would be the Brawl. If he doesn't get the Brawl by turn 6-7, he is actually in a lot of trouble. Exactly right. So, we are going to see Zoo again, as expected. Haunted Creeper going to come out. Um, he definitely wants to fish for Undertaker again, possibly Nerubian Eggs. Hunter is going to be played for Staz. So, okay. So Azure Sky is instead going to keep the Knife Juggler, going to throw out the Spider. Uh, not an ideal draw. How is the Mulligan for Staz? Did, did he get anything good? He's got some good stuff there. He's got a uh, perfect curve so far, and that would be the Web Spinner and Mad Scientist going to Animal Companion plus the Houndmaster. So some pretty good stuff. And also Sludge Belcher, so he doesn't even need the coin. But, okay, Azure Sky doesn't have another Death Rattle minion, so he's just going to go straight for Knife Juggler. Turn 2 for Staz is definitely, well, I guess Mad Scientist is his best play. Yep, that's going to go down. He knows it's the zoo, so face. Uh, I mean, safe to go to face. Soulfire, okay. He can go Undertaker into Spider. Yeah, and you hope that one of those dagger lands on the um, the Web spinner. Yeah, the spinner. And hope that it gives like a. No, actually, you 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 hope that both of those dagger go into the two two. Uh huh. Okay, so curve is, I mean, Azure, I, I wish that, I, I'm sure Azure Sky wishes that he got this curve um, quite early on. Ooh, nice. He's going to get web spin. He's going to tag web spinner with the knife juggler. He has an option, of course, to drop down either the haunted creeper. So here they come. Is it going to hit the 2-2? Two -two? Nope, it's going to go for face. And Soulfire is going to go down now. And Knife Juggler is going to try and bait the secret out. It's not going to be it. So we're going to wait for Staz to check out what the secret is. And unfortunately, I can't see it right now. But Staz does have quite a few options right now for turn three. He has Animal Companion. I think that's his best play. And Azure Sky, unfortunately, is starting to ramp up Zoo. And not having card advantage, not really a problem for Zoo. He, he can always have... Um, the option to to tap to have more options. So of course, Animal Companion, as I said, probably the best option. And Misha comes out perfect. So that's just gonna stop um, Azure Sky's offense right now. So I'm not sure if you were able to see it, Mabel, but yep. I, I wasn't able to see what the secret was for Staz. <laughs> I didn't see I that know. as well. I don't. I don't, um, know. I don't. He hovered for it very quickly. Yeah, it's like it's a secret he doesn't want to stream to know, but. Although right. he did... Um, oh, snake trap. Snake trap. Of course. Here come the snakes. And um, 
Well, more daggers. The snake's a lot Ooh. of trouble right now. Okay, um, that's one. Still not really ideal. You might want to play Haunted Creeper just for one more dagger. But even then, the 4 2 is not gonna die. Oh, that's the Maybe trouble there. Maybe you should run the 2 3 into Misha first before that. Oh no, okay. That's, 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 that's good. That's good. I think here's where you prioritize the Undertaker and sacrifice the knife jack. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. I would have played that exactly like that. Because you have Leper Gnome coming to buff it up even more, so you just want to keep it going. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. Man, where so are those board... explosive traps? Yeah, we haven't seen a single explosive trap yet in in anybody who's played Hunter on stream yet. So it's still it's always sneak trap or one freezing trap. So board control now in the favor of Azure Sky. Staz is gonna bump up to five mana, and he's gonna play Sludge Belcher. Decent, decent, very decent. Ooh, Flame Him. I'm I, really I surprised it's... that people still run Flame Him. Me too. I'm not a fan anymore of Flame Him. Yeah. Because I'd rather play something like uh, Zombie Chow. Zombie Chow yep. is my Flame Him placement for my zoo, actually. Yeah. Well, I think that especially in a deck like, uh, in a class like Warlock, Killing your opponent is not as bad as tapping, uh, as in dealing damage to yourself because you need to tap uh, very oftenly. But regardless, yes. here, here we go. It seems like he's actually gonna try and play the Leper Gnome. Tap first. Tap first. Tap first. Nope. It's no not tap. Gonna, okay. No tap. He's gonna go first, Scarlet. Okay. Full board, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Full board. So he likes his chances of Staz not drawing into Explosive Trap. And here we go. Maybe he knows Five that minutes. he doesn't run that. Possibly. I mean, Explosive Trap is one of those choices for mid-range Hunter. Not everybody, or not all decks run Explosive Trap. Sometimes it's Snipe instead, or uh, like in a tournament situation, it's mostly Freezing Trap and Snake Trap. Misdirection even, not... Oh wow, okay, second, second Sludge Belcher for Staz. Dire Wolf, mm. that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's fantastic. That that's fantastic, because that's going to allow Undertaker to take out 3-5. Yeah, Flame Imp again. If yeah, maybe if you run Chow, one. Mm -hmm. If that were Zombie Chow, that could have powered up Undertaker. See? Right, and why. also, if that was Zombie Chow, I mean, you don't really care about the 4 damage on stairs. Uh, I think it, it's, it's like you're playing Zoo, and yes, I know you're trying to kill your opponent as fast as possible. But Zombie Chow is just going to give you so much traction. Regardless, yeah. here it seems like he's going to try and deal some damage. And also, just to point out, Lepinome will try and negate some of Zombie Chow's negativity there. That's right, that's right. So Azure Sky is down to 19. Uh, Staz is 15 with uh, 6 cards in hand. Board control belongs fully in Azure Sky, of course. Not a problem not having a hand right now because he can't tap all the way until an unsafe value, maybe around 14 or 12, he's going to stop tapping. I think um, here, if he gets anything that remotely looks like Abusive Sergeant, or if he gets um, Doomguard or Hellfire, a uh, Soulfire, sorry, it would mean that uh, Stas is probably going to lose again. Unless mm -hmm. Stas kills a minion, but even if he does kill a minion, he's going to have to use his own HP to do that. And he, unless he plays the Scavenging Hyena with the Houndmaster, that's the only way he can hold off some aggro. But that's mm -hmm. such an expensive play. It is, and it's just not. I mean, it's gonna slow down Zoo, but it's it's just, just temporary, because Doom Guards have not been played. Um, I think has one so far been used. I don't think so. Nope. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna go. Okay, wow. He's gonna use up a lot of spells. Three mana for one mana. And uh, it is a power ooh. overwhelming. He would have lost if he didn't make that play there. Kudos to Staz uh, for that. Kudos to Staz. That is nice foresight. Very nice foresight. So now so two off little for this guy. That's good. I think Void Walker's, I mean, decent defense. Just gonna whittle him down to power overwhelming range. Two health off. So next turn could be it. I think it's it. Um, because even if, if it, it takes he... out the Haunted Creeper, that's two damage plus four. So. He's only out here for stats is to play the scavenging hyena and the Howlmaster, but that's only gonna give him like pseudo four extra health from the hyena, 
and even with that, you have to consider the fact that there is the power overwhelming in the hand, which and is why I said it. it's over. Yep, a Zeus guy, man, Zu, going all the way forward. <laughs> Zu! So, Zu okay. continues to plague us, not even needing power overwhelming. Zu continues to be a strong deck in this current meta. You cannot count it out. It's going to be around for a while for the foreseeable future. And that is an easy and fast 2 and 0 for Azure Sky. Um, is, was, was Staz just getting unlucky? I mean, he wasn't. I mean, the, the Hunter deck wasn't able to put up much of a fight. Yeah. What do you think? That was, that was a complete good draw um, on the part of Azure Sky. There's nothing much that Staz could have done in a position. It's more like the first game was not, it was also not really his fault. But he just yeah. didn't have those cards that he needed in that early game. Um, he had one, mo mo I think, Mountain Giant coming a little bit late. If he had that Mountain Giant a little bit earlier, I think it would have been a very different mm -hmm. game. But even then, Zu just hands down can always pressure the handlock because you're not at a very comfortable position to just keep tapping as the handlock, right. you, knowing that you're up against you know the dude that really wants to kill you. So. Here, here we're gonna see Warrior. Hopefully, Stas will have a complete chance here for a 3 0, or rather, a complete uh, all kill, reverse all kill against Azure Sky with the Warrior. But I'm thinking that it's gonna be very, very hard. And this is, wow, look at this excellent curve for Azure Sky. This is, this is exactly the kind of hand you wanna open up with as a zoo. You have an Undertaker into possibly a Voidwalker, and the next turn, you can have your Spiders and then just start snowballing from there. Um, I think Voidwalker first for this first turn, and the next turn he can coin into Undertaker uh, Spider, and the next turn he can do another Undertaker into another Spider. <laughs> I think that would be how I would play with this early game. How? Um, what are the cards in the hand of Staz? He has got a Fire War X. Ah, okay. Well, if he, if um, this is bad. Okay, I'm so, not sure I like that play. <laughs> yeah, that means that both of them are just gonna die to the Fairy War X, which is what exactly Stas wants here. So a little bit of a misplay on this guy's part. His preference, not really known, but he should know that there's Fairy War Xs in the Control Warriors, and that's why you don't play two Undertakers simultaneously. But regardless of what, I think he's still gonna be able to deal some damage, and that. In that he should find some con some consolation. But I think that playing the Voidwalker here will help save his one two. So if he if he makes that play, see the the only difference is that he wasted the coin just to make this play, which is not good. Yeah. I generally don't like playing Undertaker without a follow-up right away, because one two is just so easy to kill. Especially from weapons and I mean, you have to always consider Fiery War Axe as a really, you know, prominent draw, I guess, for a Control Warrior. And he's going to yep. get a lot of value out of that. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I would actually so far the 1-3, but not before I, I play the, the Harvest Golem. So Harvest Golem, so far 1-3, and go to face. I think that's that's yes. alright, because this is Control Warrior. You want to get the traction going. You already lost one Undertaker and one Void Walker. Just because, and the coin as well, so going second for him really doesn't make sense right now. Yeah. I like your play. That's exactly what I would have suggested also. Harvest Golem, you can afford to lose one of the Haunted Creepers and just get rid of the... Don't give him value for the Acolyte of Pain and do your two damage with your Undertaker and then call it a turn. Okay. So good on that. A little so expensive next... play, but I think it's fine. I think it's fine. He still has a second um, Haunted Creeper. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. So and the clock starts to tick for Stas here. He has got that <laughs> Armor Smith and the Crow Taskmaster, which will give him one extra armor. And But he's just going to go for a straight out shield block. And that's fine, that's fine, bringing his health total back to 30. Shield Slam the Undertaker. Down goes one problem. So, um, really, once again, the coin really screwed up the play. He's got two death rattle minions in the hand for Juice Guy. Wow, that misplay right off the bat just Yikes. turned the game around. 
Yeah, so... Well, yeah, you said it yourself. It's really unfortunate he lost both Undertakers. This could have been a huge snowball for him. By now, one of the uh, one or both of the Undertakers would have gotten into like three or four health range and become a really big problem for Staz. But now here comes the second Fiery War Axe. He's going to be taking out the Flame Imp. And still, you know, the, the health is tight. And Azure Sky, okay. Look at all these death rattle minions coming. It's just like it's it's just rubbing it in his face that he doesn't have an undertaker to capitalize. Yep, that is so, so unfortunate. Lesson learned, guys. Do not play back-to-back -back undertakers. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> Save your coin. There's so many things for zoo for an undertaker zoo to spend the coin on. You have your harvest golem. You can go into a haunted creeper leper gnome. Don't spend it on double undertaker in turn one. That's Especially against the warrior who can turn to fire war axe, exactly what we just saw. Yeah, so, I mean the the chances of the warrior having that fire war axe is two out of thirty, but that's still some real odds you're stacked against. I feel yeah. so you don't want to have that. Well, it's not like the game is over. It's just like he lost yeah, a huge yeah. part of that chunk of that momentum. Uh, he would have been able to deal an extra five damage, I think. And here comes Sylvana's Windrunner, the nice. queen of all. The ex-wife steals everything you have. <laughs> okay, so Azure Sky gets a little bit of a break with the Defender of Argus. I think a tap is also prudent in this case. Yep, Knife Juggler. And... There we go. Yeah, there's nothing much you can do against Salvanas here. Yeah, she's definitely gonna have a feast. Although the uh, the taunt minions attack is not enough to kill her outright, so that's gonna buy Azure Sky some time. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be completely. It's not like Staz can just run it into the Nerubian egg and then get the Nerubian right after. So there's still a lot of help to go through before you kill off your Sylvanas, unless you execute. So. Oh. Taskmaster, gonna take a damaged golem. Four minions left on the field of Azure Sky. Oh, Here load that. that. Wow. Man, those are big minions. Doom Guard. Ooh, and perfect mana to drop him too. Here's the question. You gotta be smart around Salvanas. Doom yes. Guard will go for lower that. But you have to be smart around Salvanas. You don't wanna lose anything more than what's on the board right now so here's what I would do I would actually hmm this is actually pretty tricky um, here's what I, I would drop it. the I would drop the knife jug and I would kill yes. Savannah's first just hope that you know she takes the egg or <laughs> or maybe not the egg but still <laughs> takes the knife jug instead of the egg and then play the doom guard to kill Lua I think that I think there's a safe way to do this you can drop um, Knife Juggler, and then into Doom Guard. You can attack um, Doom Guard into the 5 5, use the two Spectral Spiders against the 2 2, and then just go for face. Because Sylvanas um, will not be killed by the egg. It's just, it's still gonna buy some time, and that sets up Azure Sky for lethal next turn. Yep, that's actually a very good option there. And I think he hurt you. Oh, but Okay, so job. four. Okay, wow. Um. Oh. No, nope. I just send Doom Guard off into it, I think. Just, no, use the two twos to. Oh, it's running oh, out of time. Okay. What's going on? Okay. Uh. Okay, so. That's still pretty good, actually, because that's um, gonna allow the egg to still. <laughs> Death <stop>. Spide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> so this is potentially. Oh my gosh. Yep. Mm hmm. They have spite top so, deck. Um, and it seems like it's gonna steal the Doom Guard. <laughs> and Mission fail. have a chance to attack with it. Oh boy. <laughs> and he pisses off Doom Guard for more. Wow. 7 6. Kablam. That's a lot of uh, dust <laughs> thrown up by that attack. Oh, and man. Azure he went, Sky suddenly running out of options. I think he went all in 
only to be killed by Pocket Ace. That is the position that I think he is in, in a poker game. Um, that's just bad. That's the one out I think, with was, that was, uh, weapon there. Was um oh my gosh, that's right. lethal. <laughs> yep, it is. And well, Stas managed to win himself one game, taking down the zoo at long last. Excellent play by Stas. Wow, power of control warrior right there. Right, and it's pretty interesting to see that at a point in time, there was just no way for Juskai to get past Alvanus. And I think the. I think that women really just won that game for Stas. But, <laughs> but it's, it's like, uh, I, it's like just going all in. Maybe if you went for your play, you would have been a you know, 5 2, maybe 7 1 position, and not a big problem if you ran the Doomguard into lower there. But he got greedy along the way. And decided to make semi valuable trades. Mm -hmm. And I think that just cost him cost him that, of course. So Azure Sky is gonna fall back to his Miracle Rogue. And Staz is of course gonna keep on his control warrior. So still anybody's game, this could still be a reverse all kill. Control warrior, very, very capable of doing such a thing. And Pretty crappy opening for your sky. How is for Stas? Stas looks pretty alright for Stas. He's got that shield slam, he's got a crow taskmaster, armor smith, and a Senjin shoe master. So he's gonna have some space. All he needs is just AOP and he gets it. So I think um Yeah, this looks pretty alright for him. It's not fantastic, but it's pretty okay. On the other hand, Azure Sky is a crappy hand. Yeah, it looks like shit. <laughs> You, oh gosh, you have a mid-range minion, you have deadly poisons which you don't need right now, and not that effective also, because it's not going to ensure um, that you kill something like an armor smith. Well, with backstab he can, he can kill that with shift as well. Oh, but he's actually going to shift first. Not backstab first, which is questionable. But okay, daily poison, that's fine, so he gives off two armor and kills off the armor smith. Which is good, which is good. Right. I really like Armor Smith because of the value it gives. Two card to exchange for one. And you get two yes. armor. Crazy, crazy value for one a warrior. One four player. is crazy. One right. four, um remember Nat Pagel was zero four. He was oh, really, man. really annoying to get rid of. I, I disagree with this play here from Stas. I think he should coin out the Senjin before he plays the AOP. It's just gonna die. Uh, that AOP is gonna die to the dagger in hand. Um, for no apparent reason, drawing him just one card. Whereas if he hit it behind the Senjin, and he gets another Senjin by the way, so it would have been a lot better in that instance. And next turn, you can look towards, you know, maybe Shield Slam or anything else except for that. He could also play um, the Senjin that he just got this turn, which is good, but he's gonna save all those uh, trolls there for some reason. So, okay, so Azure Sky now has the option for um, Auctioneer. He can also do a backstab off of it. No, I but think that. Is. I think you definitely don't play Auctioneer here. You don't play Auctioneer unless you have a chance of keeping him safe on the field right. for one more turn. And he's got really got the Auctioneer. All he needs is just Conceal, um, which is not that hard to find, right? Okay, I've said this before, but we've seen cards gone missing, so. Um, I think I want back. Oh well, he's gonna get armor off of it if he backsteps it. So I think yeah, safe to just uh, safe to just and turn there. Four four is of course very formidable for him. Gotta give him value off of uh, fan of knives or death spite in the hand here for Stas. So the four four will die. And remember, Azure Sky only has um. Earthen Ring Farseer, so if he drops down to too critical of a health, there's no way for him to recover, unless he manages his Miracle. Which we actually have seen in this tournament, so never count out uh, Miracle Rogue. Definitely play the Death Spite here for Stas. And then you want to kill the 4-4 running the 1-4 and the 2-2 into Valera. 
Nope, he's actually looking for a trade. Okay, he's actually gonna shield slam the Drake and place the Senjin. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. It's, that's it's good. fine, it's fine, it's good. It's fine. Um, it's not. He maintains board control. Uh, it's support. not that bad. You you really want to have the death spite when you have AOP because that's where you get absolute value. And also because he's only got two minions there. Killing that robs him of his armor, which he's found it to be such a hard time just gaining more armor. So here, Azu Sky is going to play the Azu Drake. Oh man, one family. Ooh, preparation. Nice. Okay, maybe next turn is the Gadget Sun turn for him. Yeah, it is the Gadget Sun turn next turn. He's going to play Gadget Sun, preparation, fan of knives, and then draw two cards, maybe backstab somewhere, throw out the Deadly Poison with the Cold Blood, and it's just holistic good time. Yep. So that's going to give Staz a fair bit of armor, up to 35 health now. Uh, Staz still, of course, has Death Spite. E easily, easily take out that 4-4. But like you said, probably oh. waiting for Acolyte of Pain. Second Shoe Slam. Second Shoe Slam. I would say that Shoe Slam here is good, because if he Shoe Slams, he can still play the Senjin Shoe Master, which is which is good, really good for him. Um, because he is going to have the extra space to keep the Armor Smith alive, and he can also look towards coining out the uh, Fairy War Axe, just for extra damage. But this is where he needs to ask himself if he is truly in front, or rather ahead in this game. You never know when the Miracle Rook is going to catch up. That's right. So, expect a lot of moments like this in this matchup, I think. <laughs> Control Warrior thinking about the most efficient removal and Rogue trying to get themselves into a good position. So he's gonna go with your play shield slam into shield master. Lots of shields around. Golden shield master at that. Uh, at that. So pretty nice. Oh man, blade flurry. Okay, gadgets on turn. <laughs> For sure. Preparation, fan of knives. Let's draw half the dagger out and see what we get. Um. <laughs> what do you think about this violet teacher in this deck? I'm still uh, not sure of what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to provide some token. That's it. Oh, because of all of the cheap spells. Yeah. Oh, he gets concealed. Fantastic here. Good stuff, good stuff. He's also going to be able to play. Oh, and another preparation. Look at that. He draws out half of the deck and all the other cards that he just exactly needed there. He can play Cold Blood into a um, conceal. I think that's good. He's still going to prep. Going to have to be careful here. You don't want to prep too much. Too much preparation is not always a good thing in this case. <laughs> ah, sap. Yeah, good stuff, sap. What? I think save the sap for next turn. No, 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 don't prep the sap out. Oh my god, he's still gonna do it. Oh, shift. Yes, please, shift. Shift the 3 4. And then you can play Blade Flurry. Oh, okay, he's just gonna Blade Flurry this turn. And he picks Eviscerate as well. That's half the deck already. And it seems like the 3 1 still gonna be alive there. Next turn, dagger up and bye bye, Senjin. But finally, the Armor Smith goes down. So that brings up Staz up to 36, still in a very, very good position. Azure Sky down to 23. Unfortunately, he does have a concealed gadget sand that allows him to draw. The crazy, crazy draws, of course, for Miracle Rogue. I think and... for next turn, what we're going to see is that we're going to see Violet Teacher into Shift for one card and uh, to kill the 3 1. And you will also see um, probably Cold Blood on the 4 4. And in the meantime, by the way, he gets half of his deck out. He gets more of his deck out. <laughs> I think Stas is in a very bad position right now. Is there any anything in his cards that will allow him to stabilize or set Lower up even more defense? Lower Perfect that. counter. Lower that. Just play that and you are safe, sir. Let's see what he plays here. Um, seven mana for him, and it seems like he will have the chance to play lower tap if he wants to. And I think it's brainless here. You definitely go lower tap. There we go. Supposed counter against the Miracle Rogue, the lower tap. It's gonna buy him one turn. But you know he's just gonna get the other conceal, and he gets the other conceal. Oh my God! I'm sorry, guys. I just had to do it. It's been so long. But just had to do it. So here we have conceal, dagger up, poke at the engine, call it a day. 
Of course, not before he deals 4 damage. But yeah, still pretty alright. I don't think the game is done here yet. And Stas might be able to deal some damage next turn. I think 13 plus 3. Um, but I don't think it's lethal, right? No, it's not. No, it's not. Right. Hmm. So nice, nice Lotha, like you said. Uh, Lotha was an excellent play there. Just stops. Um, stops chokes the, the engine. engine to, stops the engine, exactly. Yeah, it chokes the engine, and you have a problem here. He's actually gonna sacrifice that and play Lohathap of his own, which is which is fine, I think. Um, the only difference between his play and my play is that he makes sure that he's not dropping further in terms of health pool. Mm-hmm. Actually, and if he if he made my play, there's a chance he would have lost this game already with the uh, Ragnaros. There we go. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Ragnaros for Staz. It's gonna drop Azure Sky down to nine. And one more weapon. Okay. <laughs> here comes Earth and Ring Farts here. You see what the lower tap did there? Completely choked the engine of the Miracle Rogue. So now he is without a second gadget zone. He's got one conceal, but that's it. If he plays Violet Teacher here, it's just really to try and buy himself some time and to get more minions on the board for Ragnaros to aim at. Hopefully he doesn't go for the right one, which is his face. And definitely want to heal up here as well. But yeah, if he had not played Lower Thab in the last turn for Stairs, you know, as this guy's just gonna play a lot of stuff here in that last turn with the Violet Teacher, with the Viscerate, with those Cold Blood, and even Shift, everything else they can think of, he's just gonna throw it at you. So, does Azure Sky. We haven't seen an Arcane Golem from him, have we? Nope. Did he did he have it in his hand um, during the first series? No, What's I haven't. His finisher seen, I, at this point. I think he he's struggling to find one, but um, but it's fine. That's it's fine. Is gonna hurt. Yeah, that's the perfect counter against Violet Teacher. Yeah. Oh, and Sludge Belcher, by the way. Oh my gosh. But here comes okay, the okay, second yeah. Gadget Sun. Yeah, but so what? I mean, at this point in time, it's already so late in this game. Um, it's just going to be threat after threat from the warrior, pretty much. Yeah, and yes, we know Ragnaros has got a slight chance to go for face, but I think that Stas is still going to play that next turn. What he's going to do is, if without conceal, he's going to knock on a Violet Teacher, he's going to kill uh, both the Violet Teacher and the Apprentice. But he definitely needs to play something that looks like Conceal. And I think that really the answers to this game lies in the deck for Azure Sky. He needs to draw with the Gadget Sun right now. Yep, I agree. Just not many options at the moment, especially with a Sludge Belcher in play. Uh, not able to use his Cold Bloods to clear a lane. I think I think this is what you do. You play the Gadget Sun, then you play the uh, Cold Blood. Okay, forget it. He's just gonna play V straight. I thought he could actually cold blood the one one into a five one, and that would deal Max five damage on the three five. But this is still fine. Using Vizier instead of cold blood is still okay, because you don't really want to buff up a minion that you know will die to the death spite. And here he goes the double cold blood. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Van Cleef. Ah oh, man, not enough mana though. Yep. Did he manage to get it off? I think he did. Right, right. So double cold blood and draws card. Still continue drawing card. The rope is gone, but the game wow, still goes on. Oh, right, Lord. and and here I think that this is where you just ask yourself, what just, what the hell just happened there? <laughs> Good God! Look at that stack board. Okay, I under I, I see now. I see. I understand now. He uh, Azure Sky just demonstrated what Azure, what Violet Teacher is for. Yeah, but Violet Teacher is still going to get wiped out by the Death's Bite, even if he hits face. <laughs> so, right. Just for cosmetic purposes, guys, it's not really there. Don't tell yourself otherwise, but we're going to see Shield Block into Sludge Belcher. Mm-hmm. Okay, kills the Violet Teacher perfectly. And plays Ragnaros, hoping to go for face. He's, he has a 30% chance to win this series here. And bring it down to the ace match. Is he going to be able to do it? Oh, Ragnaros. Oh. 
And he goes to face. Oh my god. Holy awesome cow. Down goes a Zhu Sky. And we're gonna have a fifth and final game between both of these players here. RNG, 30% chance. Stas must be praying. And something answered him there. Good stuff, good stuff. So that is um, two and two, isn't it? Right, right. And we are seeing an increasingly tough time from both players to try and edge each other out. Um, even in the series that we just streamed before, Juskai versus Chalk, it was a 3 2. So here, it's also going to be a 3 2, which is fantastic. You know, seeing this awesome legendary players play in the Legends tournament. Good it's stuff. I think that. From players of this caliber, it's, it's to be expected that we will see long games and very well thought out plays. Plays that we can't right. even see. So it's really good. I like I like seeing this high level play from these high level players. Really nice. So Azure Sky has fallen back to his own control warrior. It's gonna be control warrior, control warrior. And it's gonna be an hour long game right now, but um, I know. just very fast, <laughs> it's guys. Like, it's <laughs> it's gonna take some it's time. Three, it's three thirty three right now. All right, let's mark our time. If the game goes for. <laughs> By the way, announcements are from the other game so far. We've got ADYB winning against Lala Song 3 0, and um, Chonger winning 3 2 against uh, Coniglio, which is pretty pretty surprising. Chonger going forward so far. And Winning Moon, of course, winning 3 2. So Winning Moon is going to be a part of the next round. Infinity kills Z Kill. Really sorry, but Z Kill goes down. Infernity goes on forward. That's the only Vietnamese player that I know of from the old guard. Mm. Well, it's good to see all of these new names as we talked about. Um, more exposure for the players. And, you know, Blizzard had made that announcement recently that there are now 20 million Hearthstone players. It's also one of the most played games on Twitch. And, yeah. Lots of... You know, it's, it's funny how... Um, Hearthstone was one of those. We thought it was a joke announcement back in the day, and we were nobody probably was expecting how big it would be today. So, right. Okay. So, how do you feel about Control Warrior versus Control Warrior? What is the goal for each player? Who, what, what needs to happen so that one gets the advantage over the other? Is it who gets our armor smith first, or do you think who gets uh, more cards drawn from Acolyte of Pain? Is it um, the person who gets the weapons first? What do you think of this uh, this kind of matchup? Um, I think it's all gonna boil down to who gets more value from the AOP. Okay. So AOP, yeah. you think is the crucial That's one? That's just how. Yes, definitely. AOP is very important. Armor smith as well. As long as your armor smith stays longer in this game, you're definitely gonna have some good time. So here we have Stas pulling forward with five armor as well as a 1-4 armor smith and a 2-2 Crotas Master on the board, which is pretty good, which is actually pretty damn awesome on his part. But now, if you look at Azure Sky, he still has those cards in hand. And I think whoever wins this matchup really deserves to win this series. This is all yes. it's gonna boil down to. It's really mirror versus mirror. You have those cards, I have those cards as well. Let's see who uses them better. That's right, that's right. And they're gonna be running quite similar decks. I mean, I think I Control Warrior has stabilized as far as the meta goes. The card choices will be quite similar. It's just gonna be a matter of what you select for finishers or maybe tech cards like Baron Geddon and stuff like that. And like you said, Staz is in the lead right now with 35. Azure Sky is down to 29. Um, I think this is the best play. Fiery War Axe into the Armor Smith and then Cruel Taskmaster. I don't know. 1 4, as we said earlier. Very, very annoying to deal with. Yeah, it's just yep. sad that they don't have Death Spike. Yeah. Right, so killing the armor smith off early is good, but one thing to note of in a control warrior mirror matchup is that the higher armor you have, the faster you have that, and if you have a shield slam, you might just be able to win this game easily simply because of the fact that you you will be able to just go to face a little bit more with a high value shield slam, and your opponent will have trouble activating his own shield slam. Unless he stacks with uh, shoe block, which is a different story. But even then, that kind of combo is not able to kill big stuff like Ragnaros and uh, some of the even bigger stuff like Alexstrasza and all those disgusting legendaries. But yeah, the point here is that disgusting. the more armor you have, is is still gonna be a lot better. And here we have Arjusky a little bit behind, but 
he's gonna get locked out here from a lower tab. I think Stas doesn't know what the Jiskai has. Yep. And Death's Bite coming one turn too late, I think, for Jiskai. He could have used that much earlier. Um, how can he deal with this 5 5 at the moment? Um, he can't really deal with it. There is no valuable trade, there is no real answers to this position. He's actually gonna try and deal some damage with his own death by taking even more damage. So here we have got 27 health against 37 already. Uh, the major difference is that I think that's one <clears throat> sorry, that's one armor smith gone of Stas list. Um, but this guy still has his own armor smith up. So as we as you mentioned, Staz is off to a very early lead. Very nice. Five more damage gonna come his way. Azure Sky down to 22 and hasn't removed Loathab yet. So he's gonna be forced to do deal with that. And Karen, double Yeti value for Staz. Excellent. Uh Death Spite again coming out for Azure Sky. Ooh. Oh gosh, this is really tricky. He gets yeah, this no is, value from Brawl. This is really bad. Um Well, if he brawls here. I won't say that there is no value, but you will not have a lot of uh, good position after that. Post, post brawl, you're just gonna be able to kill the five one. That's about it. Um, really, the cane blood hoof is the main reason why he's a lot. Of, he's in a lot of trouble right now. And I'm looking at faceless manipulator, but even then, there is no perfect play with the faceless. What are you gonna copy? The cane blood hoof, and then what you're gonna do after that? It's a lot okay. of questions and without real answers. Because if he brawl right now, if he had brawled uh, without doing the faceless well okay i think that's the best possible play that's the best possible play yeah but one death spite from stairs and it's gonna be back to square one um he doesn't have that fortunately but he does have sludge belcher which is why i say that there's no real deal here he could have played um armor smith earlier also he could have gotten just like a bit more armor from that yep very important uh if you wanted to play armor smith you should have played it First. Oh man, a second faceless manipulator coming out into this game so far, and that's in the hand of stairs, which means that we're gonna see the faceless copy back the cane, maybe. <laughs> lots of lots of beef going around. <laughs> cowception. It's cowception. Lots of blood hoofs coming around. Despite being a dead character in the Warcraft universe, by the way, you see a lot of action from him here. So lots of beef to go around. Um, what is Azure Sky's recovery from this? That's that's a four four and then a four five and still Bane is alive four five. Um, you think Brawl is gonna be coming soon for Azure Sky? Uh, Brawl for Azure Sky. Uh, hmm. He needs to kill that cow first. He needs to kill the four four first. I think Ragnaros is a bit risky. Um, because for sure. If if it goes for the face, that's not. I mean. He gets no value out of it because Staz is just way too far ahead in armor. Right. Thirty nine now. Oh, wow, wow, the extra armor for Staz. And lower that for Ajuskai. Uh, not really gonna do much, I think. He can um, run Cairn into Cairn and then brawl and hope that his bane survives, I guess. I think that he is one mana shy of the perfect play, which is the Death Spite into Brawl. Yeah. It's always one one turn left or one mana uh, missing. Staz with a very, very nice lead. What, what's Staz's hand looking like? What's his next few turns play? Slush Belcher. Brawl. Ouch. AOP. That's about it. He doesn't really have much synergy left in his hand. It's more like he's been drawing answers for the last few turns and. He's gonna have some pretty good time here. The Slash Belcher is really just gonna rack, man. <laughs> As always, we've been saying this for months now. Sludge Belcher, so awesome. So good. Hmm. <laughs> so good. Right. And um, here, I think... Uh, gosh, I don't even know how, how I would play this. Okay, play Ragnaros. So gonna... Pray it kills that Bane. That 4-5 Bane, and nope, it kills the 4-4, four, no. four, but it's still fine. Still fine, still fine. Here's the bad news, let's execute two of that in the hand there for Stas. Oh. Ouch. Really nice. So, Azuska effectively just decided to trade one Ragnaros for board control, which is not bad. 
So the, the problem with Stas is that I think he doesn't have anything to deal damage on Ragnaros except for the 4-5, so he's gonna have to sacrifice yeah. that. I was just about to ask, does he have like a something <laughs> nope. to trigger execute, but unfortunately it was just Bane. Uh, still 7 mana left, let's see what he plays. He's gonna go for Sludge Belcher into Acolyte of Pain. Very nice. Right, so and still here... a commanding board. Still Ugh. quite a commanding board for Staz. You see, how Shield Slam would have been so effective if Azuz Kai was the one with 9 mana now. But <laughs> apparently, <laughs> that's not gonna happen, folks. So yeah. we're gonna have Black Knight chopping down 3 5. That's a very good default play. Yep. And he's also gonna. Axe, yep. I like that. Fire War X, um, 1 2 or the 4 5, killing the 1 3 is the same thing. Okay, Fiery War Axe, not giving any value at all for the Acolyte of Pain. Just gonna draw one card for 3 mana. And it seems like Stas overcommitted in the past few turns here. Although he's technically ahead with the life total, but he's got zero bot present and he has been struggling to get that back ever yeah. since the you know the interesting play is coming from the Juice Guy there. Yeah, so the, with the beef passing around, I mean getting passed around, um, Staz did not come out on top for that um, exchange of cows. And exchange I think I saw Staz has 16 cards left. Does he have any good plays in his hand at the moment? That's my question. Sludge Belcher once again. All day, every day. <laughs> all day Sludge Belcher. He's got his own Black Knight, but it's nothing to chop so far. And uh, he's slowly losing value already. He's losing steam. That's the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he might need a YOLO Brawl just to come back into this game. Oh gosh. Loatheb. Yeah. How is Loatheb, um, if, if Azure Sky plays Loatheb next turn, is that going to stop? Um, what could that possibly stop from Staz? Other than, brawl? of course, being a 5-5. I think it's going to stop Brawl, that's it. It's going to make, ex make Execute very expensive. But Execute um, going to go down now. Still a 4-5 remaining. Sludge Belcher is going to come down. And another Acolyte of Pain. That's very annoying. <laughs> and Sludge Buster comes down now for Azure Sky. Let's see. Can he? Hmm. Someone just brawl already, please. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're on the edge of our seat. Somebody brawl. Two cards left in, in the hand of Staz. What are those? Um, what are the two cards remaining in his hand? Uh, brawl and Black Knight. Black Knight. So possible value if Azure Sky decides to drop his own Sludge Belcher, but at the moment, thinking about what he can do. I think he can run... No, that's not enough. Hmm. Five health, just one too much for the options right now for Azure Sky. He can actually look towards a Shoe Slam with that armor up just to pick off the Sludge Belcher and 4-5 to kill it after that. Playing his own Sludge Belcher in that instance would almost promise that the AOP is not able to get any card draw over the next turn as well as the fact that uh, he kills off a big threat. But nope, he's just gonna play lower tap and this is definitely gonna be brawl worthy. Which is what I hope he didn't do because this means that if it's a bad brawl, he might just lose it here. Oh, but he's actually gonna play Black Knight. Ah, damn. Yeah, that's what and I we're going to see a AOP get some value here from the 1-2. So 3-5, going to take out the ooze. Uh-oh. Armor up, 41 now for Staz. And here comes Grimash with a death spite in hand for Azure Sky. So that's could be potentially dangerous if he decides, I mean, if he somehow survives the setup from Staz. So what is the play now? What do you think is the best play? 4-5 in the Sludge Belcher, uh, weapon in hand to kill off the slime, 5-5 five five to kill off the 4-5, and, and then we can talk about things after that. Yeah, I think that is the best play. Probably equip Death Spite as well, but you don't really know if your opponent runs Harrison Jones, so that's not good. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a very good play, I feel. It's going to be messy value. It's not going to be like completely in his favor. 
But I think it's the best play. Looks like he heard you. This could be what's gonna happen. Fiery War X. Yeah, so he's gonna go with your <clears throat> excuse me, he's gonna go with your play. Five five into the four five. And potential well, I don't think it would be safe to drop uh Death Spite right now. Oh man. Oh my goodness. That's an okay. end Okay. <laughs> Big game hunter for stats, by the way, so oh. overextending once again. So this you has don't been the bane want to overextend. Uh -huh. of Azure Sky. Oh, actually, the bane of V series. Just that extra one overextension is costing people. Right, right, and I'm expecting Big Game Hunter into a Savannah's Wind Runner. Nah, actually, that's yeah. not good. That's not good because the four two and the five one will kill it, and it will provide no value for uh, stairs. You cannot choose slam your own minion. You cannot execute your own minion. Please do not think about that. So, <laughs> do you brawl here? Do you just shotgun the big guy? <laughs> uh, it's tough. I don't. I mean. Okay, and it's brawl. a brawl. We finally right. see brawl. Oh man, it's a five one. It comes out alive at the end of the day. I think I think, I think that's the best possible thing he could have gotten from that. No, the best possible thing was Gromash. Then he could be game hunter that. Uh, well, has Ragnaros been played for Azure Sky? Have yes, you? that's why. Right. All that's left is Alexstrasza. If not, there's right. no big game hunter value. But then look at his armor. He's got like 13 armor with shoe slam in the hand. He's not afraid of pesky five ones, you know, <laughs> yeah. or, or even big Alexstrasza. Like, he can deal with them very easily. Here is where I think that brawl didn't really go well for stairs, but others may think otherwise. So wow, using only two mana for this guy just to armor up and pass. <laughs> Cruel taskmaster takes a load there. Oh man, what a way to die. Slaps Lothar. He just slaps him. Here comes 8 damage now for Staz. Ragnaros, who has been working in his favor, is going to do 8 damage, dropping Azure Sky down to 13. Alex Straza is coming out now. Right, right. Hmm. There is no execute. Execute would have been perfect right now for Azure Sky. Oh yeah. Brawl maybe? <laughs> Hopefully they <laughs> eight eight die <laughs> somehow. Um Hmm. He doesn't have Oh my gosh. He can equip the Death Bite to kill the two two just to increase the chances of the brawl. Nope. 33% recurring chance. What's it gonna be? And Ragnaros gets tossed out here, and his own Taskmaster stays alive. What oh, a wow. big boss. What a boss. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's left? Um, what are the options that remaining for Staz at the moment? Um. I think Staz just lost most of his firepower in that engagement there. So now he's left with like 40 armor, armor up and pass position. Here this is where execute. it's slowly going to fatigue wars, I think. You think it's it's time to Alex Reza now? Still gonna get big game, still gonna get shield slam. You must know that these players are counting the cards in the, that their opponents yeah. have used, either mentally or via written notes, but they know for sure that that's only one shield slam has been used and one execute two execute sorry one shield slam has been used he electras us anyway trying to no, level the gap pull the gap a little closer what he doesn't know is that there's the big game there so nine cards remaining for Staz, highlighted by sure sky and big game hunter is gonna come down fiery war axe gonna take out two two ensuring the survival of the big game hunter 15 health on the Jis guy. He looks like he might just lose this game here. Gets the whirlwind, not what he wants. He can use it to draw anyway. Do you shoot well, slam the 4-2? Shield slam the 4-2. 
nah, I think he... I think he is just in such a bad position that he's slowly realizing that there is no way he can come back into this game without the Gromash, without the Electraza, without the Ragnaros. My new three gone he's already. He's also used Cairn. He has nope. Played, he hasn't, he hasn't used Cairn. He hasn't oh, used Cairn. That was that right, was right. a faceless. Yeah. Faceless. That's right. So his Cairn might just be the, the the thing here, and his uh, Salvanas as well. But there is a Salvanas here for Stas. It ha she has already arrived for him. For for this guy, it's still a little unfound right now. So unstable ghoul. Spellbreaker. Oh wow. Really nice. Uh, gosh, do you spellbreaker now? You don't do it because you're desperate, because that's only gonna put you in a very bad position. I think the spellbreaker can be used to counter Selvanus, which is very, very important as a tech card, but he is running out of option here. And I think he's just gonna pass. He could also. Whirlwind executes some more armor for Stas, by the way. Why not, right? He's got like shield block once again. See, so once you have it, once you have an armor lead in control warrior versus control warrior, it's just very hard for you to start losing that um, the armor all of a sudden. Oh, man. Huh, like you said, this is it's probably gonna be fatigue wars 37 warrior armor. Uh, sorry, 37 health total for stairs. I just guy might just be finding the little button all the way at the bottom right hand corner. He gets the AOP, draws execute. execute. Oh. And shield block, okay, there's a chance. Oh, wow, lucky shield block for him and sludge belcher wow, as well. Sludge belcher. But one off oh for that. One mana cost off for that. Mm -hmm. Armor up, armor up. Welcome, by the way, to all our viewers. If you are just joining us, we are in the second round of this um, Legend Season 5 tournament. We are playing the Legends for August. So these are your Legend players for Southeast Asia in August. And we hope you're having a good time. We're enjoying think, all these high-level matches. I think the game is done. Oh, but a second shoe block saves his ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> really, if, if it wasn't for that shoe block, he would have lost this game because he's going to play Gromash. He's gonna hit his face, that's gonna piece Gromash off, and that's gonna be a total of 14 damage. He was down all the way to just 11, if not for the shield block. So that shield block really just saved his ass. Can there be a comeback, is the question. What a whirlwind. What? <laughs> wow. What are the cards in the hand of stats? Cards in the hand of stairs. We're now looking at Gromash, we're looking at Savannah's Wind Runner, Shoe Slam, and a Fairy War X. Okay, going for the Gromash play for sure. <laughs> Execute, man. Execute. Two in hand. Oof. Oh, Look at that. Two health. Two off lethal. Oh, man. Such fun. What you're gonna do is just execute the shit out of that 10 8. Play the 3 5 Sludge Belcher. Armor up because you need that extra health. And armor up with armor smith even more. Yep, for sure, man. Armor up, there we go. Armor, Good stuff. Armor, armor. Okay. armor. It seems like Juski is still in this game, but up against a 39 health stairs. Can he come back out from this game victorious? Or are we gonna go into fatigue wars and he's gonna lose to fatigue? That's gonna be painful. Here oh man, comes here comes the time. silence. Here comes the silence. 5-5 five, five is gone. Gone for good. Oh and his very own gosh. self. Oh wait, why silence when he can steal, right? Um, But he can't, he can't. He can steal now. No, there's no way. Yeah, don't think about it. Just silence. Silence her up. Probably she'll slam me to execute. There are no big minions except for Alexstrasza, so you still want to be careful here. I think I want to save the second execute just for Alexstrasza, knowing that it's still out there. <laughs> still out there. Still out there, flying around, ice ground. Oh, she'll slam. She'll slam. Armor Smith to pick it off. What a play! So seven now for Azure Sky. Still a chance. Is there any way for Stas to deal 7 damage in one turn? Oh, 
without having to go through the sludge puzzle. No silence. Alex Straza. Right? Alex Straza is out. Here we go. But what's he gonna Alex Straza? Is he just gonna play it as a straight 8-8? Eight, eight? I think he is gonna have to do it. And there is no way you're gonna Alex Straza your opponent once he's at 2 health. So I think he's gonna do it on himself. Or maybe he just wanna save it up for later. In case of fatigue if wars, I think he, it, it's alright to save it for later. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. But no, just going in for place. 23 damage on the poor 3-5. Here comes Alex Strazen now. Almost and out of card. Kane oh Blood, who's so late, so late. Um, Here, Shield Slam is not enough to take out that Alex Straza. You don't really want to lose your taunt, but you don't have a choice. So, I say just execute the 8-8 eight, eight with the 1-2, that dealing some damage there. Try and armor up before you go into Fatigue Wars. He could also look towards stealing the Alexstrasza if he can somehow manage that off. You cannot execute your own Sylvanas, you cannot shield slam your own Sylvanas, let me just repeat that in case you guys are wondering. Um, um, Zadkill in the chat is saying that you can shield slam your own minion. Oh yeah, wait, wait, you can, you can, you just can't execute, right? Uh, right, so there we go, there we go. Alright, so go. steals Alexstrasza and I think this time round Stas is in a lot of trouble. Sorry for the misinformation, but yes, you can shield slam. Uh, you just cannot execute. So both of oh, them boy. down to Exciting. just one card right now. And Stas, man against fatigue wars. What's he gonna oh, get? Boy. Spellbreaker. Uh, I mean. Oh, he's just gonna kill Alex Raza and end the hope there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just why not, right? Just because he's got like 18 armor. Why not, indeed? Spellbreaker's oh, gonna go also, down. Oh man, putting pressure, he knows he's ahead. And here comes the last card for Juice Guy. What does he get? Both of them so close. Big game hunter. Oh, big game hunter. No hunting for you, sir. Uh Cairn into Armor maybe? Oh, he needs to deal damage. He needs to deal those damage. Um Kane Armor, do you execute? Yeah, I yes, think you execute the four execute. three. Definitely. Yeah, right. Here we go. Kane Bloodhoof. Could be a game changer right now. Here Could just be that. The last card. Last card for Stas. What's it gonna be? And oh, I think he knows he's in a lot of trouble right now. It's a death bite. He might just be able to do this. I think he I think he got this. Yes, there is no way he can deal a total of 33 health. And Fatigue Wars is in play. Armor up, played a big game hunter. Oh my gosh. And Stas wins this. Yep, there's not enough not enough time. Oh man. <laughs> Here comes the death spite. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. Juice guy's face gonna change when he see once he sees the death spite. <sighs> That's just not enough. Oh uh, still 30 health for Stas, effective. He's gonna oh, take two damage. He is down back, to three. Back to the beginning for Stas. And that is it. It's Here game next turn. Well played. Ajuska is out, it seems. So Staz is gonna Aww. take this. There goes the concede from Ajuska. Well played by Staz. All the way to the end. Wow. Well, actually, you know, generally when I watch Warrior vs. War, it's a little bit, you know, boring. But this this time, very excellent play from both players. And down to the wire, as we predicted. Fatigue Wars. And... The last card for Staz ended up to be the one that took it for him, and very well played. Good game, Staz. Right, well done. So that's it. That's going to summarize the series here between Staz and Azure Sky. So Azure Sky will drop from this tournament. Staz goes on to fight Infernity, and we have with us the next game, round three of the Sea Legends tournament. And this is the third installment of that one here for Season 5 Legends player. And it's August uh, Leather, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. And the next game, we're going to showcase ADYB versus I Am Biscuit. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. See you guys in a while. Oh, by the way, I'm Babel. Joining me today is Katips. Hope you guys enjoyed the cast. And see you guys in a while. <laughs>